Hey, everybody. Hi, hi. Welcome into Live with Lee and Haley on the road. We are coming to you live from Louisville at Church Hill Downs. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited to be here. It's just so exciting and fun and pink. Everything is so pink. I love it. Yeah, everywhere you look, you think uh, it's the run for the lilies. That's what you think. That's what you, you think. That's what I think. That's what you think. Um, but yeah, we are so excited to be here. We've been talking about Derby on the show and on all of our programming on LEX 18 for weeks, and now it is finally here. Um, yeah, Oaks Day, It's I think Oaks Day doesn't get enough credit. It is such a wonderful day as well. Well, it's known as the, the Commonwealth Derby. It's sort of our private affair. Yes. You know, the thing that uh, Kentuckians love and sort of embrace because the Derby belongs to the world. But this belongs to Kentucky. Yes, yes. And, of course, it is all Phillies I running. I just came up with that. Did you? Yeah. You just made all that up. Right I there. agreed with you because that's something that really means a lot to you, that I agree with you constantly. <laughs> if you joined us for our Facebook Live yesterday, one of our viewers asked, um, because, you know, Lee gets so mad on the show if I don't agree with him on absolutely everything, even right. if it's a non-issue. And you and I had noticed it, but not that much. And then a viewer asked us yesterday on our Thursday, our weekly Facebook Live, they were like, Lee, why do you get so upset if Haley doesn't agree with you? Because a house divided cannot stand. We are standing just fine. I don't disagree with you on the big issues, and that's what's important. Mm. Hygiene. Politics, okay. <laughs> hand in hand. So uh, on today's show, we're going to make a cocktail for you, correct? We are. We are. Yeah. Our friends from Woodford Reserve are going to be joining us, and we're going to show you how we make the Lily Drink, which is, of course, the beautiful pink signature drink of the Kentucky Oaks. Of course, Derby Day. That's every like candy. Oh, my gosh. It is so dangerous because it is so delicious. It yeah. literally tastes like you're drinking a cranberry juice cocktail with sugar in it, mm -hmm. even more sugar than there normally is. They're going to show us how to make the official Lily drink. And then yes. we're going to take you over to uh, Rude and Riddle Equine Hospital yes. today. Let me tell you, I you know, you have an idea. Of course, uh, you know, the horse is the most important thing in the Commonwealth. But I had no idea. The attention to detail, the state-of-the-art technology mm -hmm. that they use for these animals mm -hmm. many of them of course and we'll tell you more about it a little bit later that either participate in the oaks or they have participated in the derbies or they're going to participate in the derby mm -hmm. they've been patients of theirs it really is top-notch quality that you get there it is i think those of us that live in lexington or just central kentucky we're a little jaded when it comes to the horse industry because we're around it all the time. We see it all the time. We hear it all the time. But most of us, even if we're big fans of horse racing, we don't know that much about what goes on behind the scenes. And we also don't know exactly places like Rude and Riddle, just how high class they are, how state of the art these places are. It's quality so, care that you would see at a human hospital. It is. It is. So we wanted to know what care is really like for these amazing thoroughbred racehorses. So we did. We went to the source. We went to Rude and Riddle, and they kind of told us a little bit about what goes into not only their daily operations yeah. but how these derby horses are handled and as it, far as how they're being cared for yeah. their nutrition everything they get done leading up to the race and then after the race as well especially if they're going to go on to the preakness or something like that in just a few weeks and then it got weird because it was us yeah we you'll we see we had fun you'll see stay tuned. Riddle, stay tuned for that yes the docs over there were so much fun all right. Anyway, so we're, we've got a great show, and we do want to go ahead and tell you that tomorrow we're going to be live. Our coverage starts tomorrow morning. Chris and Claire are going to start the day at 6 a.m. here at Churchill Downs. They'll it's probably always, just be coming in by that time. Yeah, they go out They're so party hard. party animals. Chris especially. Oh, my Chris goodness. Chris already, we were talking about. He was telling us that there's this fabulous new nightclub here in Louisville called WW Cousins. If we've never told you about this before, <laughs> this is one of the reasons why, one of the few reasons Lee and I are glad we're not on the morning show anymore. Oh. A, the hours were horrifying, yeah. but B, every year after the Oaks, Chris would drag us, because Chris is from Louisville. He grew or spent several years here in Louisville in, in his formative years. And there's a restaurant here called WW Cousins that he loves. It's kind of like a cafeteria cafeteria kind of uh, i don't know he loves it he would drag us there every single year we all felt so ill on derby day from eating that food it's uh yeah it's it's just heavy it's, we, it's, it's, it's burgers it's hot, hot dogs, dogs sitting underneath the uh, heat lamp but he loves it and that's his thing it, to him it's jeff ruby's it is so we would support him and go but we're off the hook this year okay but anyway, so tomorrow, yeah, Chris and Claire will come to you at 6 a.m. And then we're going to be on pretty much all day. Uh -huh. And we'll be on this evening beginning at 4 o'clock as well. So we've got a really fun day of coverage planned for you for the Kentucky Oaks and the Derby. Ready to do the hot topics? Let's get to it. Let's roll. Hot topics. 
Okay. Our first hot topic, an artist in Kentucky has been gathering the poop of the 1997 Kentucky Derby winner, Silver Charm, and putting it into a jar. No, you are not hallucinating. I just said that sentence. Well, I mean, if you look at him, you can see why he would do it. He's insane. Artist Coleman Larkin has gathered turds from Silver Charm, and he's selling, them, he's selling them in the jars. Here they are. Old Friends Thoroughbred Retirement Facility, which is where Silver Charm lives currently. The president, Michael Blowen, said that Larkin approached him with the bizarre request, so the poop was gathered and the, quote, turd in a jar memorabilia was made. Larkin says that every piece of poop is preserved through a top secret process. Top secret? The price for the Silver Charm poop in a jar is 200 bucks, and part of that money goes to Old Friends Farm, where they're thinking about future poop possibilities. What? I've got to be honest, having to say the word poop really, really upsets me. I don't enjoy saying it. Does it? It does. Poop. It's because you'd rather use worse language. Let me yeah. just say it. Guys, we're all friends here. It's a big old hot <laughs> Wait, pile. Of that's right. Go ahead and get our new company a big fat fine. Hi, why don't scripts. You? <laughs> yeah. You're going to have a lot of more money to pay when it comes to oh, us. And by gosh. that, I mean fines. Yes. So a bit of sad news, especially for Star Wars fans, if you're like me, because uh, Chewbacca, Peter Mayhew, he passed away. Uh, of course, he was uh, the iconic Chewie. He, he was, was 74. He was 74. Uh, they don't know exactly why he passed. It wasn't immediately announced. I know he had some mobility issues in recent years. In 2018, he underwent a spinal surgery. Uh, he was seven foot three, by the way. He was. Yes. Yeah, so well, you know. Well, no wonder he played Chewbacca. Well, right. And, and they wanted him to be bigger than David Prowse, who played Darth Vader, who was six foot six. Good A Lord. lot of big people on How that show. How tall is LeBron James? What, a 6'8", six, eight, six, maybe? 6'8", eight? something like that. I think oh, that's what he is. Teeny, tiny little baby man compared to this guy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, I saw where Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, wrote uh, just this beautiful yeah. um, memoriam Harrison Ford did as well. And Harrison Ford said he was my partner, you know, because yeah. him and, it was Han Solo and Chewie, you know, yeah. and that he, they talked about what a gentle giant he was and such mm. a good guy. He lived in North Texas, born in England, but chose Texas really? for his residence. Yeah. What's well, the natural progression? But probably made a ton of money at these Star Wars conventions mm -hmm. because everybody wanted to get Chewie's autograph. Oh, you know? yeah. I mean, he's just as much a part of that whole franchise and that whole series as uh, any yeah. of the other actors. Absolutely. I mean, he brought so much to that role. If you don't know anything about any of the other characters, everybody knows Chewbacca. He, uh, he never made the sounds. There was a sound effects guy who did that. And the sounds that they chose was from a lion, a badger, and a bear. Really? Yeah. And if you listen closely, you can kind of hear that. When Chewie's mad, that's the lion. And then you hear, <laughs> you hear the bear and we're doing that noise. That was spot on. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. In case you weren't aware, because we get this message a lot, every Oaks and Derby, people that are new to the game, they always say, why aren't you showing the races? Why aren't you showing the races? One just went off behind we don't us want to. and is about to finish off. <laughs> because of rules, we're not allowed to show the races yeah, as they're yeah. happening, but we'll show them a little bit later that's, uh, as we're I, permitted to. That's a kind Contract thing there. That's that's your NBC, NBC Sports Channel. Unbelievable. That's what's going on there. Crazy. Okay. All right. Let's get to our next hot topic. Here right. we talked about um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Remember we showed yeah. you yesterday or earlier teeth. this week? Yeah. About his teeth in the new trailer for the upcoming film for him. Well, Sega has made a big announcement um, after people said that his teeth were too human-like. The director tweeted to fans thanking them for their support and criticism. They said they know fans aren't happy with the design, so they're going to make changes. Sonic the Hedgehog movie hits theaters November 8th. To his teeth? I, I've got to be honest. I know, what do they want his teeth to look like? i, I got to be honest. I'm not going to see this. Same. This looks horrible. It oh, it oh, hot take. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, Starbucks is uh, changing their cups because people seem to be freaking out about the new color changing cups. Starbucks launched the cups on Monday. Stores are already selling out. Some people who managed to get their hands on the cups are selling uh, cups uh, which are temperature sensitive, I guess. Cool. So when you put something cold in them, they magically transform into um, what? Ombre. Ombre shades. Ombre. What's an ombre shade? Ombre is like a gradient change in color. So like the pink one would probably go from like light pink and then it would slowly go down to hot pink. I thought an side. ombre was a guy that you got in a shootout with in, well, in the Old West. That's one version. An ombre. Hey, ombre. Beat okay. it, Este. All right. Anyway, there's five colors, including uh, straws and lids. and. Everybody's it, freaking out. It's... I just want to say sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents a pack. They're also echo-friendly. They say. That's right. I just okay. want to say I've got a little gripe with Starbucks. 
What is it? Got a little gripe. They stole our sweet girl, they Lexi. Did. Lexi, yeah. Our girl from the Humane Society that did our Maybe pet of the, the day. Maybe the gripe should be with us. Maybe we should have paid her <laughs> something. Oh, if that's. That, if, then she would have stayed okay, with wait, us. I'm taking that back. Starbucks, you're it's paying her, and you're, you're a good yeah, man, and Starbucks. Benefits. Yeah, that's on us. We love Lexi, but yeah, she's going full time. She works for them, and um, yeah, it's an awesome place to work. But we are going to miss her, and we told her she can come back anytime and All bring right. us free coffee. Coming up, we're going All to right. uh, t- we're going to make it the, the official drink for you. That's on the way. More live with Lee and Haley from Churchill Downs. Stay tuned.